This is a demo of how to do the mesh adaption. Here I have a Fluent uh, solution on the original mesh. What I did was I right clicked over here and I said duplicate and it created this duplicate system. Um, and, and then I, I renamed it. And then I started Fluent from solution. Um, that way it'll, la it'll load up you know, the setup. And then this is on apps on demand. So I'll say switch windows and go into Fluent. And then I need to maximize um, this, maybe hit maximize to get the, the scroll bars here. And to, um, so if I want to look at the current solution, I can actually see, see that within the Fluent interface. I go to graphics, contours, and I want to look at Mach number. So I'll say, um, not density, velocity, uh, Mach number. I'll deselect everything from here and say display. Um, so I don't have an initial solution. So or I have an initial solution, but I don't have a convert solution. So what I'll do is I'll say run calculation and calculate. And I'll keep the default level of residuals, which is 10 to the power of minus three. Um, and then if I close out of here and then go to contours, contour one, uh, deselect everything, save display. Okay, so I can see the, um, the contours of the Mach number and you see the shock is smeared. And in fact, I can say draw mesh in this view. Uh, and I'll say, in this case, I need to say select everything, display, and then display. Um, and so I can, if I zoom in here, I'll see that because the mesh is coarse, the shock is smeared over several cells. So I want to uh, refine the match only where I have the high gradients due to the shock. And to do that, I'll go under Adapt, Refine, and I'll go under Cell Registers, New, Field Variable, and I'll keep the default name here. And the very, Vary of, and what I'll do is I want to use gradient of pressure. So I'll select gradient here. And I want to say cells in range. Uh, and then I'll say compute. So basically, let me pick a threshold here. So I'll say 10,000 to say 75,000. And you see the effect of this in just a minute. Uh, and I'll say save display. So you see it's picked the cells where the gradient of pressure is over this threshold, 10,000. And, uh, and the, the name of the register is gradient zero. And so I'll say save display. So now I should be able to go here into refinement criterion and I get that gradient zero. And you can give your own name, uh, which might be better. And then I will say adapt. And I'll just say OK from there. And you can see that originally I had 713 cells. And now I have 926. Uh, and if I say display, I should be able to see that. The new mesh. Or I can go to um, general display, select everything using this option here and say display. And you can see now the, 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 the refine mesh. And then I just need to say calculate. And so it'll start with the current solution and then it'll uh, interpolate it to this mesh and then it'll start iterating again. And it's converged to a level of 10 to the power of minus three, which is good enough here. Um, and if, you know, 
you can play under methods. You can try changing into third order muscle to get, you know, if you have convergence issues. Um, and now if I go back to contour one and um, I'll say don't select any surfaces. You can see how the, the shock is much crisper. And if I again draw the mesh as before and save display and zoom in here, you can see the effect of the, you know, of refining that, uh, refining the mesh and how the, the shock is crisper. And if I right click behind the, the shock, it'll tell me the range of the mark number um, is somewhere around 2.25. It, it's in this range, so I'd say it's 2.25, which is pretty close to what I expect from the analytical results.